So recently I've noticed I've kind of become a wellspring for mostly informed knowledge for new players on certain aspects of the game, mainly when it comes to instructors, which, I mean, that's kind of something I made for myself since my very first video that gained traction was how to get Super Saiyan God, and like 90% of that is just getting the right instructors. But, um, I'm fine with it. I actually think it's pretty cool that some people are coming to me for information on how certain things work. And that's what I'm going to be talking about today. Hi guys, how's it going? My name is Destry, and this is going to be a video on the time rifts and the distorted time eggs that you get inside of them. It'll also just be a kind of a um, whole thing on how that whole system works. So if you don't know, you should because you go through these in the main story. But the time rifts are the five big rifts in the area. They're on top of platforms that look like this one that's right in front of me. And they take you to different areas like Capsule Corp, Hercules House, Majin Buu's House, Namek, stuff like that. And they serve two main functions from what I can tell. The first one would be that is how you would get certain character specific transformations. For instance, you go to Capsule Corp, you train with Vegeta. After a while you will unlock Super Saiyan. And if you keep going you'll eventually unlock Super Vegeta. If you go to the Freezer thing and you're a Freezer race, eventually you unlock Golden Form. If you're an Earthling and you go to Herxus House, you'll eventually unlock the Nimbus Cloud. You, you know, you get where I'm going with this. You are a Majin race, you go to Majin Buu's house, you'll get purification and stuff like that. So, like I said, they are on platforms like that, so you can just fly to them. But, um, I can also understand if you don't want to, because some of these can be kind of far out the way. Like, there's another one all the way down there. And I'm sure if you look around, you'll see, yeah, they're, they're scattered out. But they're automatically unlocked from the get-go inside the transfer okay. shop. So if you just go, it's usually towards the bottom, except for the Hero Coliseum, which is just something they added. So it's usually the last five that you can see here. And since we're already at Capsule Corp, we'll just go inside this one. Each of them will have a same kind of feature to it, where it'll be a glimpse of the area, the main characters inside people to talk to. And that's usually about it. The first time you come here, your main objective is just to talk to these guys. So if you haven't gotten that far in the missions yet, you will eventually. And you can see there's Vegeta over there. I have not talked to any of them yet because I haven't needed to. I already have all the um, base transformations. I don't have like Super Saiyan God or Blue or anything like that um, because I haven't. I just haven't bothered doing the missions for that right now. But if you are new to the game and you don't have any of the transformations, like I said, I already do from a previous character. So if you don't have them, you would come here. And like I said in the last video about doing the advancement test, you can't do all of the trainings in one go. You have to do them this, you know, you have to talk to them. This will be for all of the time rifts. You talk to the main person, you do the mission. You have to go do a couple other missions, and then eventually you'll get a notification saying that there's some more stuff to do in, you know, whichever one you're looking at. You go, you do another mission, and you keep doing it until you eventually get the transformation. Some of them do have certain other things, like for instance, Bulma's shop here has the QQ Bang station, which, if you don't know, I guess I'll do a brief summary on QQ Bangs. Basically, we have nice new they are... You come here and you mix either clothing or certain... Um, you mix either clothing or certain food items. No, that, that comes later. I'm sorry. You mix two pieces of clothing here, and then you can mix it with a certain item that'll potentially boost up the effect of what you get. So let me see if I can, if I have any five-star clothes. Yeah, I can get rid of that. So we'll do that, and we'll find another five-star thing right there. And then you go to mix items, and you can mix anything here. Uh, there's usually better stuff you want to mix here. I just don't have them. So we're just going to go ahead and bam, I got a level 3 QQ bang. Basically what that does is in your um, equipment screen where you put on clothes and everything, you put on a QQ bang and it overrides these bars that you see, the red and blue bars. It'll override the ones that your clothing gives you with whatever is on here. And these are usually stronger because it's like mixing all your clothes together. I don't need that because I already have a, a modded one that I got from the last time I played this. And yeah, so this is only in this one. Some of them might have different things you can do as well. Like I know the Hercule House one also has uh, Gohan and Videl in there. 
that those instances of Gohan and Videl, you do not need to mess with them in order to get them as trainers. That is something completely different. That, I believe, is how you get the uh, Nimbus Cloud for um, Earthlings. So we're going to head back out. And that is the main function of them, or one of the main functions. The other one, what you really won't notice until after you complete the game, is once you get the, through the main story, you might notice if you look... Um, I'm not entirely sure where it is, but if you look on like your uh, mission complete data, like you see where it says time patrol quest completion on here in 71, that's because I have like extra side missions and whatnot to do, but even if I did all that and I completed the main story, then you would see it, it's, it'll sit at like 90 something percent I think. So it'll say that I still haven't completed everything, and it, that is because after you complete the main story, there will be extra things you can do at those time rifts. And what those will do is they will give you. As I find it, there it is. It'll give you these distorted time rates. I already had them all from my last playthrough. As you can see, I also have all the Dragon Balls. Uh, I'm assuming if you guys want a video on how to get the Dragon Balls, let me know. But it 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 explains to you in like the very beginning of the game how you get Dragon Balls. Um, but the distorted time rates, there's five of them. You get each one from one of the time rifts. And in order to get them, you have to um, complete the main mission inside of each of the, those uh, time quest things. So like for Capsule Corp, you have to talk to Vegeta until you complete out his quest line. Uh, Frieza, you have to talk to Frieza until you complete out that quest line. Um, Hercule, talk to Hercule. Majin Buu, talk to Majin Buu. Y you know where I'm going with this. And once you get all of these, you're going to head back to the Time Nest, which I will head to now. I'll see you guys in a second. Alright guys, we're here in the time nest, and now normally what would happen is if you have just gotten those eggs, you can also do this at one at a time, you don't have to get them all in one go, but the Supreme Kai of Time will be sitting right in front of the door of the time nest, you go and talk to her, and you have to give her all the eggs, and after you do, she's gonna say like, hey, thank you for giving that, some stuff might come up, we'll let you know, and then you're gonna go to Trunks afterwards, because Trunks will have a new mission marker on his head, as you can see right there. There's a little bird up there, tuck, tuck. Uh, These guys are for something else. I can go over them in another video if you guys want. But you're going to talk to Trunks, and he'll say, like, hey, there's something going on. Uh, there's a, a problem. Let's fix it. And then you'll get to do the extra endgame missions, I guess you could say. Um, I won't do them, just so anybody who's new to the game and hasn't seen it yet, it'll be a good surprise for you. So you can go ahead and... Go do the steps like I told you, and you'll see it's it's pretty cool. I, I thought it was pretty cool. And I don't know if you guys knew this, anybody who's new to the game, but you can also go in here. I don't know if you have to, you can only do this after you beat the main story. It could just be whenever, but I know definitely you can do it after you beat the main story. And here is where you would replay all the missions. That way if you want to, you know, potentially get better scores you can see here I didn't do the greatest <laughs> I was just kind of rushing through the main story so yep yeah, that is how that works I do have a couple other um, ideas for videos that I'm gonna come up with in the coming days um, probably won't see another video from me until Monday or Tuesday because uh, my birthday is tomorrow so I'm going to be busy with all that stuff but yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I hope this helped out any for anybody who's just getting into the game now and wants a more updated um, guide I guess you can say, I wouldn't know if I'd call this a guide, but an updated thing on how this works and how some of the other stuff I've explained works. As again, I appreciate you guys for sending me all of the um, questions and watching the videos, leaving likes, subscribing, commenting, and all that stuff. Getting close to 500 subs, which is awesome. Um, yep, I'm just gonna stop talking now. I will see you guys later. See ya.